In this overview, we are going to review how lineless handle numeric data. This type of data is often collected on an individual basis and used for various purposes related to a single record, as well as to review trends across many records. Examples include age, blood pressure, weight, or temperature. We can quickly review an individual record in Capture to see an example of this. In this example, we are collecting data within a COVID-19 case-based surveillance program. During the first stage, a clinical examination is being performed and the individual's temperature is collected. Let's examine how we can utilize this numerical data in the line listing app. To create this line list, we will need to select the following items. First, we select event as the input type, followed by our program and program stage. Now we need to select our program dimensions. Start with the organization unit and time dimensions. For our data dimensions, we want to select a mix of program attributes as well as data elements. Let's start with our program attributes. Next, let's find our data elements. As we add in these data elements, let's also add our filters. Now we can see the numeric data on the table for each individual event shown in the line list based on our filter criteria. We can also add a legend to this numeric value. To add a legend, select Options, then Legend. We can then alter the legend options, which is similar to what you would see within the Data Visualizer application. In this example, a legend for fever has been made so we can alter some of the options to apply it. First, we must select Use a legend for table cell colors. This will open up additional menu options. We can then decide if the legend will only alter the text within the cells of the line list or the background color for each of these cells. In this example, we will have the legend change the background color. Under the legend type heading, we can select which legend we will use. If you have configured your numeric data items to use a specific legend by default, you can select Use predefined legend per data item and the legends for each data item you have created and associated with each data item will be applied. You create this association in the maintenance app when editing the specific metadata object that you are focusing on. If you want to apply the same legend to all data items, you can select Choose a single legend for the entire visualization. We will use this option in this example. From here, you can select the legend you want to apply from the drop-down menu. Lastly, we can decide if we want to add in a legend key or not. This will provide a key within the line list to assist in interpreting the colors of the legend. After selecting your options, update the line list. We can now see that the legend we have selected is applied to the numeric data item in our line list which in this case is Fever. Since we selected the Show Legend Key option, the Legend Key appears to the right side of the line list. Note that you can save this table and add it to your dashboard, and the Legends and Legend Key will still appear as we see within the line listing app itself. In this overview, we reviewed how the line listing app handles numeric data. We look forward to hearing your comments on this app. If you are interested, note that we have several other videos demonstrating further features on using the line listing app. For any questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice.